Hi everyone, Roy Neary from Data Spinners and TDG. This week has been pretty tough actually and I've just got to the end of it and I thought, you know what, I'll have a bit of fun because it's been that hard. So what I'm going to do here, it's actually something I've done before, but it's the idea of fading in images and actually if you see it, it just looks so good. So I am going to dive straight in and I'm going to move on to uh, an app that... Uh, I've got it part prepared anyway. Now this is an image that my daughter made. I'm not honestly sure what it's of, but I really like it. So I'm just going to jump on to um, Power Apps. And it's to do with this art project thing anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally, I think I should build this from scratch. So I'm going to do new screen, uh, blank. I'm going to make sure I'm going to go, uh, go onto the fill and just make it black, black. Right, that's nice. Then I'm going to do insert uh, and media and image. And then on the image thing, I'm going to click this drop down here. And I'm not actually sure which one it is. Let's call it this one, not that one. And let's just check which one it is. Uh, now what I'm going to do actually is I need to rotate it actually. Um, uh, I think it's image rotation. Hello? Image rotation. And it's sort of image rotation dot, I think it's rotate 90. Cool, got that rotated. So that's a little freebie there. It's not what this is supposed to be for. Good, and now what I'm going to do is I am going to cover it all up with a label. So I'm going to grab a label, pop it on, and cover it up. Of course, it doesn't look like it's covered up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fill and make it RGBA blah, 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 one, which means it is covered up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, where is it? I'm going to put a control. I'm going to put a timer on there, uh, pop my timer on, and I'm going to put an auto start onto that, and I'm going to put the duration of 50, uh, 5,000, which is five seconds. Uh, what that means is when we navigate to this screen, it'll start doing stuff. Um, so uh, we'll see how that works. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the results of this timer to the color of that we've got here. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm just going to make sure it's quite easy to understand this. So I'm going to go to rename. I'm going to call it timer, uh, timer, call it fade in. Okay. So what we're going to do is on this um, RGBA is we're actually going to change this one to be uh, timer fade in dot value because as it tight it fades in it um uh increases in value divided by tm timer um fade in oops that's a mistake there dot duration so essentially when it duration so initially when the timer hasn't run then in fact i've probably got it wrong in fact it's going to be it is that uh, but we're nearly there and it's actually one minus that so what that's going to result in is when um before the timer kind of kicks off um nothing actually uh, then then it's going to be completely covered and then what we'll see is that when we actually click the timer i can see there's a bit of a text thing going on there um what we should see oh that's not working as planned, which is a bit peculiar. Um, this could, do you know, I have had this before and uh, sometimes with timers, uh, they just don't like you. Um, and what I'm going to have to do is just do to come out of the app and go back in again in order to fix it up. I don't know what, if, if it's a new thing or what, but it's uh, not anything that I... So I'm back here on the app and I'm actually going to change it not not to have an auto start uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go into the preview and I'm going to actually click the button and here comes the image. Now I think that is a really really nice effect and I think you can use it in all sorts of ways. Um, the way in which I used it on this uh, page over here is that when it sort of comes in then uh, I've probably got my orientation a little bit wrong here. But the cool thing about this is when it comes in just at the end of um, the, when the label kind of finally 
disappears or rather the color of the fill disappears the label actually disappears as well and that means that I can actually click on my buttons otherwise um, it wouldn't be possible to do so and I do that by um, going on to the timer which is on a completely different page by the way um, and I have if I go on to the on timer end what you'll see is the um, uh, I actually can't remember how I did this. Uh, I just do an update context, uh, which is uh, a local variable, um, and I make it so that the um, so that the the cover um, becomes uh, invisible. So I'm just going to have a look at the visible property of this. It's actually lock intro, so uh, it means it's a local variable intro, and it means that when it gets to the end of it, it then becomes false. And what that means is that in the case of this thing here, so here it comes, it appears, I can go to, eventually it'll become editable, uh, and then I can click on it, but what that means is if I go back to the home page, it all resets itself. So I think this is quite nice and I think it's just a nice way of having a good user experience when people come in. So I hope you like this and I will see you again sometime soon. Uh, please like this, please share, it's really important that we um, share all our findings with each other so that we can build apps and um, get get the you know the business um, community and the um, and the education community involved in this sort of thing because I think there's huge scope to do great things. Thanks everyone.